Welcome back to Bullet Heaven. I restarted because I'm back down to only three hit points. It turns out there's a medal. I think it's around here somewhere. There's a medal for only having three hearts. When you... There we go. Beat the first 20 levels without upgrading your health. So I'm going to be doing that. I won't be getting any heart upgrades. And there's a bunch of other medals. And... I got Lance, so you'll be seeing Lance, and I'm still missing, um, what was her name? The other character, Anna. But I wanted to show you real quick, um, here, the mouse controls, they're, no, oh, that's not it, options. They're not terrible, but they're the mouse controls. See, um, my main problem is that, you know, you're... Your character moves at a set speed, so the mouse, um, it doesn't always go exactly as fast as the mouse, which, that makes sense because you have a balanced speed, so it can't be exactly following your mouse, but it just, oops, right click does not do that, um, it makes the interaction a bit, a little less direct, and that's just annoying, I prefer any action I have on the controls to have an immediate predictable reaction on the screen when it's something like this. Also, deploying the secondaries is... It's not bad, but, uh, you know, you have to double-click. You lose a second there. Well, maybe 200 milliseconds, but still. And I don't... I'm not sure if you can even use a bomb. I think you just have to still press spacebar. Not that it's a big deal. But these are the mouse controls I don't use. There's also an auto-fire and auto-focus. Auto-focus just means you start in the slow mode and you um, hold shift to not do that. And auto-fire just, you know, does what you'd expect. Generally speaking, I like an auto-fire, but in this game there is a reason to store up your firepower. Oh, there we go. Okay, no more mouse mode for me. And I thought I'd go ahead and fight the uh, giant enemy crab again. This time with only three hearts. So I feel lame for doing it with four hearts. Oh, and yeah, Lance fires bullets really fast. He works more like a traditional shoot 'em up character. And his secondary fire is this uh, those mines that burst into bullets. And if you hit an enemy directly with the mines, they do a ton of damage. And otherwise, they're a nice long range attack. So, he's pretty easily my favorite character right now. Um, hopefully Anna will be something cool, too. I think she's that archer from um, what I presume is the artwork for the next epic battle fantasy. Which it sounds like won't be around for a while, so don't get your hopes up. Ow. Also, there's no reason to go fast. Oh, he's already stopped doing it. But when he does the tracking you thing... You just have to constantly be moving in a, in a direction. You don't actually have to be moving fast, because, you know, he's just tracking you. Not sure why that didn't really occur to me. And wow, this is, like, easier than before, because I have... I'm sure I have higher upgrades and stuff. Also, bombs. I love this guy's bomb, because it doesn't just make the bullets disappear. It freaking blows them away. Oh, I missed the epic bullet pattern. I'm a cheater. So get for using bombs. Alrighty, O's. Oh, a, a. I wanted an S. Whatever. Also, what do we have here? I'm guessing it's a harder version of that same boss. What do we want? Let's get that. Oh, and I have an extra bomb now. Bonus level. Yeah, the. Do you know what's weird? I think my this game runs smoother when I have it on high quality than when I have it on... Ooh, pretty. Um, than when I have it on low quality. Because I was playing myself with lower quality, and it just seems slower than it did on camera with high quality. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Maybe it's just... Uh, maybe it just seems faster. Especially since I had the... Um, I love this bullet pattern, but... Um, I had the moving background disabled, so maybe it just felt slower. Oh. That was not paying attention to those. 
That's gonna be a toughie. Let's wait on that one. Oh, and these are supposed to just be, I guess, super hard versions of the bosses you fight, so... We'll be getting to those later. Drylands. Killing foes quickly ups your multiplier, apparently. That's what that thing he said. I still would like sort of an indicator to sort of tell me, like, when my combo is going to end, or... So I'm sure there's some system behind that that I'm not getting. And, you know, shoot enemies really fast is generally how you, you know, keep your combo up, but... A visual indicator can be nice. Not the biggest score freak, though, so it's not the biggest deal. I also, the power-ups, I really like the attack power-up. I'm not sure if it's, you know, balanced and I should have this, but it's definitely enjoyable. The uh, shield, um, there are medals for using the shields, you know. I guess you couldn't just remove it from the game. And it's a nice way to, you know, help, you know, newbie players and stuff. But it definitely needs, like, a major nerf. Like, it could last for, like, half as long as it currently does, or only absorb so many bullets. But the problem with bullet hell games is that if your shield absorbs ten bullets, it's... sometimes that's not even different from it absorbing a single bullet, because you might be getting hit by, like, ten at the same time. And if you haven't played the Epic Battle Fantasy games, well, for one thing, you should play them, but also these enemies are all based on the creators. Um, well, I assume they're going to be enemies in the new game, but they're similar in design to many enemies in the original few. Many of them are sort of based off of uh, archetypal RPG enemies. Dude, that's more like it. Level end? I'm not sure why it keeps going after the level has clearly ended. So there's a few awkward seconds of silence there. Upgrade timey? Yes, let's see. Um, I'm gonna wait for more main weapon. Let's play as Natty, because I've barely played with her at all. Large and medium rocks still count as enemies. Hooray. I'm guessing there are going to be rocks to shoot in this level. Not sure why I think that. Just sort of a hunch. Ow. Pain. Oh. What do you know? Rocks. Big ones and small ones. I guess that is nice that it doesn't uh, require you to hit like all of the small rocks for... Uh, purposes of getting 100% hits, because I'm sure it's impossible to hit all of them. Also, shields broken, blah blah blah. This music is sort of oddly peaceful. I guess it's kind of befitting of a wasteland desert pick thingy, but with 18 billion bullets. Ooh, yay. I like when bullets explode into more bullets. I don't really care for her alternate fire. It, I'm not sure, like, how well it really would stack up to the other characters in terms of practicality, but uh, it just feels weaker. Because, I mean, it's just more of my primary fire, basically. But it doesn't feel like very much more. Whereas uh, Lance's is more satisfying and seems like it's doing a lot more damage. The fire... S there's more bullets that are clearly appearing. I'm not sure if there's more damage. It's actually being done, but still. Also die. Everything. I just really use my bombs more. A fair amount of the time, I always get to the end of the level with uh, all my bombs intact. End of the level, yeah. The kitten game. I don't know what that is. 
I know what most of the games he references in the little ads are, but... It's a stone thingy. Let's... let's be no legs again. Oh hey, upgrades. More main weapon. I gravitate towards the main weapon, because brick walls are undestroyable, don't fly into them. Oh, mini boss. I do like the hints. You know, they're obviously geared towards a specific... Whoa. Is this the mini boss? No. No, I hope that wasn't the mini boss. No, it was not. Ow. These were some pretty badass... Um, they're related to some pretty badass enemies from the uh, Epic Battle Fantasy 3. They're like just stone monoliths, but they kick your ass. Because, oh crap. <laughs> I chose poorly, I guess. Is there any way to avoid... Ow. I died! Well, that's wonderful. I hope those stay in the same place every time. Am I just supposed to wait it out and then choose a path? I hope that's what I'm supposed to do, because that's what I'm going to do. Ooh. Oh, you were supposed to die. Die. Thank you. Also going to be doing the videos in a couple of smaller chunks. The last video turned out to be 15 gigabytes, so that was awesome. Um, I mostly blame that on Camtasia, though. Ow. Also, constant movement um, means compression's not going to be so great. I'm going to guess this one. Oh. I'm going to guess this one. Well, I guess this just lets me kill more enemies, so that's good anyway. Even if it isn't. Oh, what am I doing? I have a... Uh... Oops. That was... Hit the bomb button again. Where's this mini boss? Thunderbirds. You do not intimidate me, Thunderbirds. Especially not when I have the invincible super uber shield. Ooh, money. Money definitely does not intimidate me. Whoa. Hello. You kind of intimidate me, actually. So, uh, good job on that. Ow. I also like, uh, if you notice, the as your meters, like the health bar over there, empty. Um, like, look at the green bar. It looks sort of like a some sort of container that, uh, you know, has been emptied or something. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's a neat effect. And, like, as the blood, as the heart drains, there's, like, blood stain in the back. Like, it's, yeah, it's just neato. New level. Cactuses. Cacti. Cacti is, is. Um, more base damage. Also back to Lance. He's definitely my favorite character in this one. I preferred, um, what's her name? Daddy in Battle Fantasy 2. She's basically a mage, but like, with actually good spells. And you generally have enough MP to just do tons of awesome spells. <laughs> and I generally don't like magic users. And in that game, Lance was actually like some sort, of, a sort of weird support role type dude. I didn't use him the most. He's definitely my favorite in this one so far. You can probably also hear my heater being a moron. It's not even cold out. I'm sure my face right now is just glazed over in awe. I feel kind of stupid, but I always end up glazed over when I'm playing this sort of game. I'm kind of amazed I can play this while talking. So now that massively impacts your uh, attention and all of that stuff. Lots of performance related things. But this game is relatively easy, as I've said, compared to other bullet hell shooters. But, you know, it's picking up. I'm sure the final level will be something painful. So we got that to look forward to. Oh, and a nice touch is that... Ow. Oh, damn. I never notice my health in these things. Can I get up? No, I probably can't. I don't need any magnets. Yeah, whatever. Wait, what did that... 
I missed the tip. Go away, mouse. I also like that these guys split out into more enemies. Whoa. It's a fun little gimmick. Are the enemies that die and leave bullets are another classic. And, uh, what's it called? And one of the Gundamonium games, if you play on Demonic, which is like the super impossible difficulty, every time you kill an enemy, they send a swarm of bullets straight at you. So you have to pretty much constantly be moving. And you can't just, like, not kill enemies to avoid the swarms of bullets, because they'll still be sending even more swarms of bullets at you. It's great fun. I've only gotten, like, yeah, I've gotten one person to play more than one game of any of my Bullet Hell games with me. I only have one that's multiplayer. But they're always fun to show people, like, hey, do you think you could do fucking this? Do you have this sort of spatial awareness? Or reflexes, or any of the relevant things in your brain? It's always fun to tell people, um... So I beat the final boss in this one thing. He's like, "That was the soup. That was the impossible mode." I'm like, no, that was easy. Also, I should probably be paying attention. Right. I have bombs. Keep not using bombs. Let's get more of these. Some players' sub weapons deal more very close range. Hmm. I wonder which player they could be referring to. Yeah, that's me. Well, that's Lance. Oh, snap, that was perfect timing. But yeah, if the bombs explode into bullets, they're good long-range things. If you see them explode um, on contact with something, that means they did the super damage to a single enemy. Which, against normal enemies, you really want them to swarm... You want them spread out like that. Because it's overkill against anything but bosses. Also, Lance's uh, powered up, his uh, charged up shot is sort of unusual. The bullets are just uh, more opaque, and uh, that just means they do more damage. They don't like have a special pattern or shoot out more at once or anything like the other characters all do. Also, I can't go to the left side of the scrap. Too slow. You know, in the easy levels, they give me tons and tons of those uh, shields. Have I gotten a single shield on this level yet? <laughs> I guess that'd be an interesting way to scale difficulty. Stop giving help as, uh... Oh, there we go. Either the player does well, you stop giving, like, the super broken power-ups. Or, um, just in later levels, maybe. Give less help. But it's not like you need help in the early ones, so I don't know. Are we done yet? Don't want to die again. Uh, bomb time. Have I said that I love that bomb? It's so pretty. Oh, hey, those guys explode into more bullets. I just now I'm noticing that. Uh, one nice thing I was going to mention, uh, in case you're not good at this sort of game, you can get the medals in this game, apparently, or the badges on Congregate, even if you use the uh, cheats. It says so in the uh, badge descriptions that you can use cheats, you know. Which I'm sure the final boss is going to... Oh, crap. Be pretty damn difficult, so... Well, why did I do that? Oh, God. Oh, whatever, I'm not going to do it off screen. Movement speed. Don't really need any of these power up things. How many times have I played this level now? I apologize. I'm probably not going to cut it out either. Ow. I also like the glow effect on the bullets, um, and the the money's all transparent. And absolutely no glowy effect. It gives you a nice, um, 
easy way to differentiate between stuff that will hurt and stuff that will be good. That's occasionally a problem um, in bullet hell games, because, you know, there's tons of shit on screen at any given time. It's important to be able to quickly differentiate stuff that will murder me and stuff that I want to get. Even not in bullet hell games, it's generally good to know what will murder you and what will be good. That said, I'm not sure how it looks without the bullet glow effects. What's out time? Never quite sure I need the bomb when I usually use it, but I just reason that any time that I know I'm going to need a bomb, that's about 50 milliseconds before I'm going to get hit, and I'm not going to be able to react fast enough. So I'll just use the damn thing anyway. Thought I was going to get a hit. Probably was wrong. Phew. Oh. To be honest, this level kind of go drags on. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually longer than the others. I think it is, actually. But, um... There doesn't seem to be much of a... You know, a flow with it. It just seems to be mostly the same few enemies over and over. There's no clear progression that I can tell. Oh, pain. I don't have any bombs. I have pain. Only pain. Lots of pain. Please. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. BRB.